I'm completely wet. I found a coconut tree to give me some shelter, but I'm still wet and I'm loving it. Yeah! What's up, guys? It's your girl, Farmer Girl Jess, and I'm back again with another video. Today, I'm heading down onto the farm to cut down some lumber today and get this thing going so that is the plan we got to do this let's go yes guys ready to go on the farm Whew. have my tripod with me I have my army with me we're good to go I have Veronica and Benji coming with me. <laughs> yeah, guys. So you can see now, like it is that time for the guineps to be ready. I'm ready. And I'm sweet. Mmm. All I do on the farm. Run around with the goats. Go hiking. Have my camera equipment. Me and the dogs. This is living the best life. Especially during these times. I have all this space that I can use. All this land. I have so much land. Can't believe it. Never would I imagine, like, if you told me five years ago, oh, you're going to have a farm, your YouTube channel is going to be doing amazing things, um, you'd be a farmer, <laughs> I would just laugh at you and said, you're joking, but it's happening, and good things are happening, and I am just completely blown away. Look at all this. Look and line. Look and land. Look and land. Watch land. <laughs> yeah, guys. You see, a lot of people don't know that farming is a really good thing. They have like this thing. This backdated style you know, of all the farmers being like not making any money and not doing anything lucrative. But farming is actually a good investment long term. It just my only issue with my type of farming is I doing livestock farming and I always have to constantly be buying stock. But at the same time, I save money because I do all of the work myself. And I have just one worker that helps me with literally everything on the farm. So, I mean, therefore, I've gotten away with literally everything. And yeah, I have all this land. All of this here needs to be cut down. All these trees down there. You see how far the land goes back? It goes all the way back to all of those trees you see on top of the mountain. <laughs> We have land. <laughs> we have land, you guys. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work, too. So, I appreciate these Pomeranians following me into the bush to assist me. You know, I really appreciate you, too. But, yo, farming is a good investment. I keep on telling you guys, you know. Raising goats is like stocks. 
Because you know, sir, if you buy a goat right now, a female goat, and you put her with a ram, you turn her out with that ram, in a year time, you have like six kids. Yeah, in two years time, you have six kids. It multiplies. It's like dividends being paid out without you have to doing anything. You just have to have patience. It takes so long, you guys. I've been doing farming for two years now. And trust me, I'm not gonna lie, with the help that I'm getting from my YouTube channel, I have made a lot of things possible. I don't think anything would be possible without the help of my subscribers. You know, I'm not laughing out. I don't forget you guys. I love you guys. I do my, my swimsuit under here, you know. Yeah. So, after this river, touch down in the river. Pum, pum. I cut down some trees already. I cut down some already. This was yesterday. And it, I know, it don't look like I did anything, right? That's what I'm saying too. It looked like I did nothing. Look at this. I cut down the whole of this and the goats never even eat the whisks or anything off it. I don't know what you call it in your country, but we call this bush thing here whisks. And I have like a thousand or a million guava trees on the farm. One million guava trees. Look at that. Yeah, guys. I'm going to show you what I brought in my bag. I have my pyro, my insect repellent. I'm going to cut down down here. I'm going to start with down here. Down here is a place that has the most nice fatty grass that make them put on weight. Perfect. At them, just enjoying the land. Just enjoying nature. They're so pretty. Feed can't be finished. They have so much food here for the goats like a beehive look at all of this that i cut down for them and they're finally getting to it now i use a chainsaw and cut down the trees and look the whisks are still holding it up I want to clear up the whole of right here now. Yes, my baby is an all right. Look in the ones in this swimsuit. <laughs> yes, guys, look at what I did yesterday. It's made all of this, you know. Me chop down all of this. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you now what's in my bag. I have some pyro, some insect repellent. I have the mosquito spray. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I have done here with me a bulla. It's like some sweet bread, ginger, like a spice bread. And then I have a cranberry juice. You know? I'm gonna head over to that huge wasp nest and spray them and run. Let me give you a close up. 
So yesterday, you guys, when I was down here, I saw these guys. You know? And the last time I was down here, I count two wasness. Now there's literally 10 wasness down here. Right? And if you can see them clearly, it's like almost a hundred was right there. Benji, don't wake them up, please. You guys, it's serious business this. All right, we're gonna get these was now. So I plan in my exit strategy, so I'm going to run from there to there again. babies I couldn't show that part on YouTube you know but that's the wasp babies and it is safe to come out now and two three four five six ten wasness you guys ten wasness Sheila what are you doing make wasting you Sheila, what did you do? Oh no, poor Sheila. Sheila made the worst thing her. Baby was. You know? <laughs> yep. I really can't deal with these wasps. Sheila. I am fine by the way guys. I didn't try to come anywhere near these wasps. I stayed far as possible. I, I did the thing with the pyro, with the light. So there, there oh. Oh, see more come back here. See more come back here? Oh Jesus. See they coming back?
was uh, stuck in the lumber a while ago. if the chain come off or what. This is a second attempt to get these. Second attempt, you guys. so aggressive now are they a little bit in it
that's it for today. Sound like the goat crying because she in the rain also. I got to pack up shop now. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and share to my YouTube channel. Okay, we was going to go to the river, but <laughs> not today, you guys. Okay. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Rain a wet me, you guys. And my chainsaw getting wet also. Woo! I'm hiding underneath the trees. It's coming down heavy. It's coming down really heavy, you guys. Just remember to like, subscribe, and share to this YouTube channel, because God knows. We need an ATV bike to pack up all my stuff. I'm like 30 acres down on the farm and stuck down here in rain. shelter but I'm still wet and I'm loving it Yahoo! I should just probably just like run through the, rip, the rain right now I should just like run through the rain right now because I already have on my swimsuit